Imagine a stealthy, crewless aircraft flying in formation with a manned fighter, extending its sensors, carrying extra weapons, and taking the greatest risks so a pilot does not have to. Recent parade rehearsal sightings suggest that scenario may be moving from prototype to active service faster than many expected. This breakdown walks through what the FH-97 is claimed to do, why a parade debut would matter, how it fits into the global loyal wingman race, and what the operational consequences would be for future air combat. Images from large-scale Victory Day rehearsals showed covered platforms on military transporters and at least one silhouette whose design cues match the FH-97 family. Stealthy lines, angular vertical surfaces, and a size consistent with a single-engine ground attack uncrewed aircraft. Official rules for parade hardware note that items displayed will be active duty equipment, so a public appearance would strongly suggest the platform has moved beyond limited trials. A parade debut is not proof of full combat reliability, but it is a major public signal that the People's Liberation Army is confident enough in the system to show it to the world. The Feihong FH-97 series was first revealed in model form at an air show and has been described by developers as a multi-role uncrewed combat aerial vehicle that functions as a sensor node, an ammunition depot, and an intelligent assistant to crewed fighters. The loyal wingman concept is simple in purpose but complex in practice. The drone expands situational awareness through sensor fusion, carries weapons to extend strike reach, and can absorb or confuse enemy fire to protect manned platforms. In essence, a fielded FH-97 force would let a small number of advanced fighters command a larger distributed cloud of lower-cost autonomous nodes. If the FH-97 is shown as active duty equipment, China would be the first country to publicly display a claimed combat-ready loyal wingman at scale. Several nations have advanced loyal wingman prototypes and late-stage tests, but public confirmation of deployment changes the calculus. A deployed loyal wingman force accelerates doctrine change, forces rival air forces to adjust training and force posture, and signals a shift toward integrated manned-unmanned formations that rely on secure data links, mature autonomy, and doctrinal acceptance to be effective. The loyal wingman race is international. The United States has pursued manned-unmanned teaming and experimental loyal wingman platforms intended to operate alongside F-18 and other fighters. Australia has pursued Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bat as a ship and land-capable node for distributed sensing and strike. Differences between these programs lie in scale, timeline, integration approach, and mission emphasis. If the FH-97 is operational first, China would claim an advantage in demonstrable fielded capability rather than just flight test milestones, and that advantage would be meaningful for signaling procurement decisions and shaping future joint air operations. A loyal wingman is not simply an expendable missile truck. Practical roles include forward sensing and target designation, electronic warfare and suppression of enemy air defenses, distributed strike with carried loitering munitions, and sacrificial screening to preserve high-value manned assets. When teamed through robust data links and shared situational awareness, these nodes can extend the reach of a small strike package, complicate enemy targeting, and enable new tactics such as distributed lethality and rapid sensor-to-shooter loops. For air commanders, the key promise is force multiplication. Fewer crewed jets delivering more effects with reduced pilot exposure. Rehearsal imagery also showed larger covered designs with tailless delta plans and scale, suggesting higher performance. Those shapes hint at a portfolio approach, multiple collaborative combat aircraft tailored for land-based, carrier-based, and long-range roles. Pursuing multiple airframes makes strategic sense if the goal is to cover different mission sets, air-to-air -air escort, surface strike, maritime strike, and electronic attack, and to create redundant paths to operational capability. A diversified uncrewed fleet would allow specialization while enabling massed cooperative effects. A confirmed parade debut of the FH-97 would be an inflection point, the difference between development and declared service. It would compel competitors to accelerate their own manned-unmanned teaming efforts and would begin to change operational planning for air campaigns that must now account for distributed autonomous nodes. That said, parade appearance is one milestone. Sustained operational effectiveness depends on reliable data links, 
secure command and control, logistics and sustainment, doctrinal maturity, and integration into large-scale exercises. Watch for further evidence of operational training deployments, massed exercises involving manned-unmanned formations, and the fielding of data link and mission command infrastructure. Those signals show whether a platform is merely parade-ready or truly combat-ready. If this analysis helped you, like the video, subscribe for more clear, evidence-based defense breakdowns, and tell us in the comments which capability of the loyal wingman concerns you most. Sensors, weapons, electronic warfare, or command and control.